Hello friends and welcome back to the horror section. This is going to be a pickups video just showing you a few things I picked up since my last one. And I could say this is probably my best pickup video that I've showed yet that I know of. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is just a good, it's not a lot of movies, but it's just good quality movies. And I didn't, like I said, pretty much I got them from trade. Just people just didn't want them anymore. So I got them, you know, really, you know, you can say real cheap or whatever, you know. Most of them I didn't pay anything for. I just traded away and stuff. And I kind of traded some of those. Uh, I had some Marvel movies and stuff like that, you know, that are going for a little bit just because they're, you know, Marvel. And, you know, they keep them, the price is kind of high. So I pretty much traded all those away. And I didn't really want them to start with. But I think I got some pretty good stuff in trade and, uh figured i'd show it off so i believe this is probably my best pickup video yet and uh you can comment below if you if you've seen better from me but i doubt it I, this is a pretty good one i think so uh, here we go first off i got blood theater from uh, vinegar syndrome with this cool slip cover i really really like this slip cover i thought it looked cool with the uh kind of the old theater look you know where it has the name of the movie on there with this kind of hand coming out i guess you can see the kind of the body in the background and of course they're watching the movie and that knife's getting ready to i thought that was a really cool cover and uh, i thought it was pretty neat slip cover and this one comes uh from the director rick sloan of hobgoblin so if you've seen that movie you know how cheesy that one is you can imagine about this one and it comes with blood theater and the visitant I'm saying they're at the visitant. And I'm probably saying that wrong, but we'll go with that visitant. And uh, like I said, this one's just a very cheesy kind of cornball slasher movie set in a movie theater. I have fun with it. It's more of a fun kind of silly movie than it is really, really good. It's one of those uh, good, bad movies, I guess you could say. Like I said, I really liked it. It was fun and silly and stuff. But um, I think you can watch this one on uh, here on YouTube, I'm thinking. I think that's unless they took it down, but I think that's where I've seen this movie at on YouTube. And, you know, I, I, I haven't seen it yet on this. And I know uh, Vinegar Syndrome always really does a good job of restoring their movies and making them look good. So I bet this is going to be an awesome movie. Vinegar Syndrome's funny anyways. They take these movies that like nobody's ever heard of and most people won't even like. You know, and they make them so awesome looking, you know, it's it's crazy. I mean they get like they, they get the uh, the the smallest movie that nobody's ever heard of and pick them out. And it's kinda funny, but like I said, this one this one's fun and kinda silly. But then it you know, it also comes with that second movie. I've not, not seen it. But uh, I was glad to pick this up from him. And like I said, I really liked that slip cover. thought that was pretty cool. And of course, this is an A, B, and C Blu-ray DVD combo. So I thought that was pretty cool. Blood Theater. And here's another off-the-wall slasher movie from, I believe, the 80s. Uh, Moonstalker. And this one's actually on BDR. But it's an actual release. It's just the only way you can get it, I believe. I don't, I don't know if it's got a DVD or not. But this is the only way I can figure out how to get it. It's just kind of a cheesy, fun uh, '80s slasher movie, and I liked it all right. It wasn't the best in the world. It wasn't the worst. I mean, it's just you know somewhere in there, in between. It's just one of those. If you like slasher movies like I like, you you want to kind of see all the oddball ones, all the different ones, and this is one of them. So I was glad to pick this up on, uh, even though it's a, a BDR, a recorded Blu-ray, I still wanted to pick it up. And as you can see, it's it's actually released by MTI, Film Rise, and it's actually a real uh, release, but it's just a BDR recorded one. But I still wanted to grab it. It's just a very oddball uh, slasher movie. And this one I know you can watch, unless they took it down here on YouTube. And you can watch, that's where I've seen it at. Like I said, I enjoyed it. It's a little silly. It's not the best in the world, but I thought it was fun just to watch a weird slasher movie. You know, I had fun with it. I thought it was pretty cool. So that's uh, Moonstalker. 
So that's pretty cool. There's a bad moon rising, and it just got worse. I guess so with that big axe coming at you, but that's Moonstalker. Pretty cool. Got a copy of Fade to Black. Thought that was pretty cool. Mr. Den Dennis uh, uh, Christopher. I think he done a really good job, which is the dude right here. He plays in a few other... I've seen him in a few other horror movies. Not that much. He's actually on a couple episodes. Don't laugh. Murder, she wrote. One of my favorite shows of all time. Angela Lansbury. Murder, she wrote. But he was on that for a couple episodes. And uh, he's just a real quirky guy that loves... Uh, I guess kind of like me. <laughs> but he loves old films and just oddball movies and... I just it kind of goes, I guess you could say he kind of goes nuts and goes after these people, but he always dresses up like different characters from the uh, different movies that he's watched, and it's kind of cool. I think that's the best part of the movie. The movie's not the best in the world, but it's, it, it's just, you. I enjoy looking at the different characters in it and stuff, and and seeing about the films and stuff, it's kind of cool. That's what the interesting part to me is. You know, it's kind of a it's kind of a cool movie. It's not the best, but that's just the best part of it, just seeing the different characters and stuff. And I'm I kinda have fun with it. But like I said, this one's like one of those that's kinda difficult to get, so I was glad to pick it up. And this one's actually region two, so you'll have to have a region free or region two player to play it, but I got it pretty pretty cheap. Pretty much this is one of my traded for. And I just got it to get it. I didn't give up much for it. But I thought it was pretty cool to get Fade to Black on DVD. And uh, this one's one that's one of those that's kind of hard to get. I don't know if the Region 2 is as hard as the Region 1. But both of them are kind of difficult to get. So I was glad to put this in my collection. Fade to Black. And like I said, I really like that cover with all the different characters that he plays. And I thought that was cool. And this one's even got Tim Thomerson in it that played in a lot of uh, oddball, uh, I guess, full moon movies and stuff like that. He's a pretty cool actor. But, I mean, this is a pretty decent movie. It's just very odd, very weird, kind of. I enjoy it, though. Especially, I enjoy the uh, performance by him just acting like all these different uh, characters and stuff. It's kind of cool. So, it's Fade to Black. And yes, I did. I double dipped on the Incubus. Now, I did have a Image Entertainment Incubus, which I still do. But now I've got the Scorpion release of Incubus. I thought that was really cool. But, uh, and this is another one that's really hard to find. So I was glad to pick this up. But, uh, 1981, there's a Scorpion releasing. And I just thought it was a, it's a really fun movie. It's, it's got a lot of uh, mystery to it, too. Like, you don't know who the Incubus is. Like, at the very... I remember at the very first... At the very end, I'm sorry, when it was revealed who the uh, Incubus, the killer, was, it was like, wow. You know, I didn't see it coming. It just kind of threw me for a loop. You know, I kind of enjoyed it. I remember watching... I actually watched it on uh, VHS back in the day. But uh, I thought it was a pretty cool movie, the Incubus. And I was glad to pick this up on... Uh, on scorpion release and i kind of you know i like the um the image entertainment but i like the scorpion releasing too so i was glad, glad to pick up both of them and uh pretty neat especially since it's kind of more difficult movie to get so i was glad to grab it on both of them so like i said i really enjoyed the movie the uh, the incubus it's a it's a pretty wild and pretty uh creepy scary movie but uh you know I couldn't, I didn't mind grabbing it, grabbing both copies of it. So cool. And speaking of double dipping, I got the, uh, I got the Anchor Bay Night Stalker and Night Strangler combo. And now I've got the MGM DVD double feature Night Stalker, Night Strangler. Two flicks on one disc. And like I said, I really like this one. Darren McGavin, I just love him as Kolchak. I love the TV show. There was only 20 episodes, and there could have been 2 million episodes, and I would have loved them. It was, it's like my favorite show of all time, just how, I guess, the uh, interaction with uh, Kolchak and all the different people. You know, he's real cheesy and trying to figure out how to get in there and get his story and all that. And he's got all these funny one-liners and trying to trying to get get access to see all this different stuff and nobody believes him oh it's it's just great and these movies are really good too 
I just enjoy them. The Night Stalker was made in 1972. The Night Strangler, 1973. So back to back, kind of cool. And uh, and Darren just does a really good job as a cold check. I mean, just awesome. But like I said, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Favorite TV show. And Darren McGavin's just one of my favorite ones of, you know, any actor. I mean, I just didn't really enjoy him. He's fun. Pretty much every... I just enjoy as soon as I see him in a movie, I'm you know I'm I'm like there he is, there's Darren McGavin. I just want to watch what he's gonna do because it's always usually something quirky, something odd, something kind of cool about him. But uh, he was one of my favorite actors. He was the uh, I guess you could say he's the Bruce Campbell of some of the older movies. You know that's how that's how much I liked him. I like Bruce, but I like Darren McGavin too. He's just cool, quirky kind of fun character. You know, just a cool actor, man. But that's the Blood Stalker and the Blood Strangler. So, oh, what am I saying? The Blood, the Night Stalker, the Night Strangler. Where did I get blood at? I don't know. But, uh, like I said, I just really enjoy old Darren McGavin. He's a pretty cool guy. Night Stalker and the Night Strangler. Double feature. Pretty cool. Look at this. I told you this was a good pickup. Superstition. You'll believe it just before you die. And this is a actual anchor bay copy and if the if the the case looks kind of shiny i did put it in a newer case the everything on it looks perfect the disc and everything but you know the 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 plastic or whatever on the outside of the case was a little you know a little wore out so i just figured i'd put it in a newer case just to make it look a little better because this is one of my favorite kind of creepy kind of haunted house i guess you could say movies or the the witch is kind of possessing the house and doing crazy stuff to people and they're trying to figure out how they can exercise her and get her out of there and stuff but i really enjoyed this one superstition it's got some great scenes and it just oddball scenes just funny scenes and it just it's a really cool movie but uh i was definitely glad to pick this one up on anchor bay like I said, I got all these movies for pretty much just really cheap, just real cheap trades. And I paid a little bit for some of them, but not much at all. I mean, very cheap. They, I pretty much just lucked into them. They, they were just ready to get rid of them for some reason. I don't know. And Excuse me, and I kind of lucked into grabbing them. And anytime I can put another Anchor Bay into my collection, I'm glad to do it. And especially when it's a superstition. I mean, just an awesome movie really cool and uh this is one of my favorite movies really enjoy it especially anchor bay and really love it and really it's really difficult to get so i'm definitely glad to put it in my into my collection and like i said there wasn't there's not a lot of movies in this one in this um this video now the next one i got i'm glad to have in my collection but it's got it's not one of my favorite movies it's just really difficult to get and it's got a little bit of a bad, uh, what would I say, bad reputation for the director of it. And probably once I say that, you're going to know what it is. And I'm glad to have it in my collection. I don't say I love the movie for the director, but it's still a good movie. It's very creepy, but we'll we'll, we'll see what that is. I want to kind of lead into it, but Superstition is just awesome. An awesome movie right here on Anchor Bay and I'm definitely glad to have this, and this is one of my favorite ones. So we'll see what the next movie is, and you can probably already guess what it's going to be, but here we go. Yes, Clown House, the uh, last movie on this video. I told you this was a really good pickups video. And like I said, this is not my favorite movie. It's actually a really kind of creepy, creepy movie. The, the clown in here is really cre creepy. And, you know, that's kind of a very creepy movie. Welcome to the Circus of Terror. And, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's just got the bad reputation. I'm not going to go into any details with the director of this. And that's all I'm going to say. But the movie is very creepy. And it's really hard to get. Very, very hard to get. And I was definitely glad to pick this one up. The circus is in, the circus is in town, but nobody's laughing. And I believe you can actually watch this one here on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. I, I remember watching it a long time ago, and then they might have took it off for the reputation of this movie. And uh, But uh, it's very it's a very creepy movie. You know, the, the clown in here is very, very creepy. 
But um, like I said, I enjoy it. It's just not the... Uh, if it didn't have the reputation it was, I'd say a lot of people would love this movie. Because it's, 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 it's a very creepy, kind of scary movie. But, uh, like I said, I, I'm just glad to have it in my collection. Because it's very difficult to get. Very, very, this is probably one of the hardest one, you know, one of the rarest movies I've ever picked up, I'd say. And it's in perfect shape. The disc is perfect. I don't know if the person didn't know what it was and they were just wanting to get rid of it. I don't know, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pay much for it. I mean, I ain't going to go into money details, but I didn't pay much for it at all. And I see this go for a lot usually. So I was definitely glad to pick this up and put it in my collection, but it's got that bad reputation to it. But, you know, I don't mind just picking up the movie, but, uh, kind of cool just to just to have it i didn't think this is one of the movies i didn't think i'd ever get you know in my collection it's just a very 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 rare movie kind of cool though you know just to own it but uh like i said it's it's a it's a like, like i've been saying it's a very creepy movie it's just got you know all that bad stuff that went with it but like i said i don't mind having it in my collection it's kind of cool to get it but uh that's it for my pickups video just showing you a few things i picked up like i said i think this is one of my best pickups video ever just not the uh quantity of movies i didn't pick up a lot but it's just the quality i just got some very rare rare movies in this one in this one i guess week since my last video i thought that was kind of cool that I, everything <laughs> everything worked out where i got this all on one video it's kind of cool you know got them all in and this is actually the movies i got in this last week you know it's kind of unbelievable but then it's pretty cool but um till my neck till my next video i'll see y'all guys i hope you enjoy it and uh please comment below and have a good one see you